How's it going guys? So in today's tutorial, I want to show you one of my favorite features and it's not much of a feature as it is a process, something I, one of my favorite things to do. And it's a really versatile process. It's how I'm able to make this really cool animation here on the uh, lens of this. I'm able to take this text here and actually animate it in with the same process. I can make this text glitch around, do all this really fun stuff, a lot of versatility with text animation. And one of my favorite applications of this process is taking a bunch of lights and animating them together. I've actually used this process in quite a few tutorials, but I wanted to make one tutorial to actually highlight the versatility of this. Um, but before I get into that, Today's video is brought to you by the Material Builder Suite. The Material Builder takes all the time out of creating unique, complex procedural materials. With over 100 group nodes ranging from custom patterns and textures you've never seen before to special nodes that give your materials sand, glitter, and many other really cool effects. Using a plug and play workflow, you can make hundreds of unique materials made for cycles. Hit the link in my description if you want to learn more. Now let's get back into the tutorial. So here we have the uh, helmet glass right here. Now if we go to tab edit mode, I'm going to hit U to unwrap and I'll just click unwrap. If we go to UV editing, it's not going to look right. So in these particular instances, if you really want to use this feature here, what I'll do is I'll hit the tab and click front and just try to flatten this out here. Then I'm going to hit tab, hit U, and I'm going to go and project from view. So now we have this um, pretty messily very um, just quickly unwrap. So we'll go to UV editing and there is our uh, mask, but it doesn't really matter too much how it doesn't have to be perfectly unwrapped. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit um, F3 and type an edge split. And I'm going to go and click edge split. And what that's going to allow me to do is split all the edges on this. And then I'm going to go up here and click individual origins, hit S zero. And now all these uh, faces are shrunk down to about the size of a pixel. Here's why we want to do that. This is when the magic happens. We'll go here to shading. And just to show it to you quickly, I'll just get an emission node, EM emission. And then we'll plug that right here. I'll get a color ramp, color ramp, plug the color to the color. Now we have black and white. Now I'm going to get a noise texture in OI noise texture with the node wrangler. We're going to hit control T. I'm going to use the UV coordinates because that's what we did. We did some UV stuff. Unplug the factor in the color ramp. So here now you can see it looks like some pixelated mess. Um, I'm going to go to the constant and now you can see how it's behaving. If you used, if we didn't unwrap the, uh, if we didn't shrink those faces, the texture would be, you know, performing like it normally does. But since we shrunk those to about a pixel size, it grabs them like that. So even though the actual face is the size it's supposed to be in the UVs, it thinks it's one little bitty pixel size. So it's grabbing that and it's just putting that pixel size to the face. And then we could bring up the scale and then we can bring up our color ramp like this. And then we can have some fun and uh, bring up that strength. And there you go. And so what you can do is say, I uh, want this to be glass. So we'll go ahead and get a mix. We'll get a mix shader plug that there, we'll get our principled, actually we'll just get a glass, glass BSDF just to conserve space here. And then now we have our glass and then we have this. So if we want to animate it, we'll go 3D to 4D and we'll go here with the W. So that's how you do that. And in, instead of a noise texture, you actually can sometimes use a um, image texture with say like if you have some text with a black background, you can project text right here and you can have a lot of fun doing that and it'll look like you know pixelated text, which is a really, really cool feature. Now, how do you do it with text? Let's go ahead and make a really quick text um, scene here. So I'm gonna delete everything. I'm gonna hit tab, go to the top and I'm gonna go ahead and get some text. So here is our text and then let's go ahead and just center everything so we can do that nice projecting from view in all caps. We'll do that. I'm gonna right click and convert to mesh. Any font works, it doesn't really matter. So now we have this. I'm gonna go hit U, project from view. In the UV editing, we have this. Now we don't need to do any edge splitting here because these are single letters. They're detached from each other already. So we can go here individual origins s0 now all those letters are pixel size we can go here to the shading and uh, let's go ahead and just do the same thing we'll just get an emission 
and the same exact process works em emission plug that straight into here color ramp here we'll get in a noise texture on the other one where the uh, letters faded in that was with a gradient but you'll get the idea in just a second plug that there linear to constant and then now we have all of our fun features we'll put some glare in there and then say we just want to go black background so now if we go to 4d on the noise texture we have some glitching letters that we can glitch in glitch out have a lot of fun doing that now let's do it on multiple individual objects all right so now let's try it on something with multiple individual objects here as you can see it's still behaving the way that we want it to doing that random selection of different materials so here's how I did it so I'm gonna take this guy here put a new material on it and then I'm gonna select everything and give it a blank material so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead here click this I'm gonna hit tab so we're in edit mode and then again I'm just gonna go ahead and click uh, U and project from view. Then we'll go to, with all of them remaining selected as individual objects, not one object, you can actually see them all in the same UV square, which is really, really cool. And then we'll just scale them up like this, and then I'll take it, individual origins, S0, just like that. And then we'll go here to shading, and just to show you, and then now we'll we'll just go ahead and say I want, I want it to have glass, and I want it to have emission, just like the, uh, the the, just like the helmet so we'll get a mix shader and we'll get an emission like this plug the emission there we'll go ahead and add that whole thing we did just a minute ago so now we have our color ramp noise texture mapping with a texture coordinate using the UV socket and then I'll make my emission blue and make it pretty bright and then we can take in our color ramp do this make our noise texture 4d and then now they're all dancing around and they're again we didn't have to join them into the same mesh they're all behaving but they're all acting on the same uv coordinate and you get this really really cool effect i use it all the time with motion graphics it's one of my favorite things to do especially if i'm really out of ideas i will try to see what i can do with that feature so i just want to show you guys it's something that i'm really excited about in blender uh so thank you guys for watching i hope you learned some stuff and i'll see you in the next video